My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here, back at you with another review for Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2. And this is the 13th episode. Episode is titled One of Us. Now, pretty much this episode, um, May, because of all the stuff with Sky, uh, she brings in her ex husband, Andrew, which. Um, I guess uh, he's kind of been involved with these gifted people. Um, you know, kind of did like e evaluation. Kind of like he's a therapist, pretty much. Kind of, I guess, their mental stability. Pretty much to evaluate Sky. You know, I guess to prove whether she or not she's stable enough to still continue to be a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. Too whether or not she can handle this type of power. Yeah. And just, you know, in multiple parts of the episode, you know, you kind of see a little bit of May we never saw. Laughing is one thing. Which, uh, kind of weird. Kind of weird. <laughs> Considering, you know, how May is. You know, it's 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 surprising enough that she was married. I mean, I would be afraid if I was married to a woman like that. I would like, I would go to bed in a different room and I would lock that room up. Yeah, I'd be like not even looking, making any eye contact to any woman. I mean, seriously. But um, also, Cal, Sky's father, you know, he wants to get revenge back on Coulson for taking the death of Whitehall from him, which he's been looking to kill him for 25 years. And uh, so he recruits uh, his own little team of supervillains, these gifted people, to kind of get back at S.H.I.E.L.D. But, before that could even happen in the episode, that same Inhuman, he comes and takes Cal away. For what reason? No freaking clue. have to say, um, you know, this episode, yeah, another really good episode. It kind of brought in a shocking revelation about Sky's abilities, which I'm not going to even say, which kind of scare me, you know, because, um, you know, Sky, I, I say Sky has become my favorite character for the show. I didn't care about her in season one, but season two, oh yeah, she's become a character I really like. And I would probably say, yeah, she's my favorite character of the show. Before it was just Coulson because. Coulson! Who doesn't like Coulson? But, um, you know, based on those previews for next week's episode, it looks like we're going to find out the full truth of who um, Mac and um, Bobby are working for. Or they're a, a true alliance, I guess you could say. But overall, this was a very cool episode. Um, you know, kind of in a way... Um, Simmons kind of brought in that Sky should be in a different category. Other. How about Inhuman? Hey. They should start calling them Inhumans. Because this sh the show is going to be our introduction to Inhumans. And the movie is not coming for another few years. 2018, if I'm correct. So, I mean, might as well give them the category... In humans, which you know, like I've said before, that's the one thing that has been really, really cool. You know, to get a little bit of an introduction to, to in humans on this season. But uh, one thing I kind of don't understand is the woman with the, the you know the nails. She kind of makes me think of Edward Scissorhands in a way, except she's like totally real and not some thing that's been created. She just didn't seem like 
like a meta human to me. I mean, seriously. I mean, it looks like a person that just went home, freaking started freaking putting putting blades in their fingers. That's literally what she looked like. But overall, very cool episode. Definitely looking forward to next week's episode based on that preview. And also uh, be on the lookout for my review for The Flash. New episode, which I already have up. And also be on the lookout for reviews for the Netflix Daredevil series, which I'm going to do it differently than what other people do it. Because some people, they like review when it comes to these shows that all the episodes are already out. They like do a few episodes at a time. I'm not wanting to be like that. I mean, the only way I am ever going to be like that is just to review multi-parts. Or it's a, like a finale. But that's for normal TV shows. But uh, what I'll probably do is like have it to like one or two days a week to review episodes of Daredevil because I don't want to be rushed into having my review out there. I don't make money on my videos, so I have no reason to rush it out. And plus, summer is like a slow time when it comes to me doing reviews on TV shows, so I'm in no hurt to get it all out. I mean, yeah, oh, if I wanted the views desperately, but this is all for pure enjoyment. But let me know your thoughts down below on uh, the Daredevil Netflix series, I mean, <laughs> on the episode. And uh, also, how excited are you for the Netflix series for Daredevil? Because we only have, like, what, like, a little over three weeks until it's out here. I'm pretty damn excited. Considering, you know, I was one of those kids that had nothing against Ben Affleck's Daredevil. But, you know, I have not watched it since I was a kid. So, I mean, you always get a different opinion as an adult compared to when you were a kid. But, uh, as always, my name is Jimmy, and until next time, bye.